Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, the 18th of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, where do we stand now? Overnight, US markets certainly under immense pressure given the fact that uh, we had concerns regarding Mr. Trump uh, arguing for a cut in the budget, where, which obviously means a reduction in spending. A reduction in spending obviously hurts growth. So again, that's certainly risk negative there, especially given his uh, tax cuts and stimulus, uh, fiscal stimulus that's been in, in motion. Also, we have concerns now with regards to the FOMC, obviously uh, maintain their hawkish stance, and therefore that's uh, interpreted as being bearish. Okay, so... Uh, that certainly is not uh, positive for the markets at all, and therefore that's risk negative. So that was another factor as well at play uh, in terms of the uh, the markets. Now we've all, we've had the Asian markets down quite considerably overnight. The Shanghai now testing a key critical level, obviously, uh, and uh, is under uh, immense pressure at present. Okay, this uh, U.S. Sino trade war certainly seems to be escalating with the uh, U.S. now uh, trying to shut down China's ability to access the U.S. Postal Service given the subsidy that they've enjoyed for quite some time. So it certainly seems like the war is certainly being escalated as opposed to be a de-escalation. So it certainly seems no sign of that happening anytime soon. And that's obviously a risk negative for global growth as well. So all those factors certainly coming into uh, into play. So bear that in mind. Okay, now oil price is certainly under pressure as well, given the fact that the dollar certainly is appreciating. That will obviously send copper lower as well, and rest of commodities lower too. Okay, in terms of the technical picture then, we've had uh, UK retail sales come out this morning, certainly coming out on the negative side. So again, that certainly is risk negative. But having said that, uh, the sterling has been falling, and that's been helping the FTSE to a large extent, given the fact that it's an export-related, or a lot of its uh, earnings certainly come from overseas, uh, and uh, it's very sensitive to uh, earnings in terms of sterling for UK companies. Okay, in terms of the technical picture, then, if that's the only fundamental news flow, really, for the remainder of the day, you've got US jobless claims, but that's a US-centric story. In terms of the German DAX, okay, so the German DAX certainly is being helped higher by uh, reports that uh, Italy... Uh, had a discussion with Merkel, uh, presented their budget, and uh, that certainly was interpreted as being, uh, well, apparently according to them, uh, according to one of the EU, Euro EU sources. Let me just re re reiterate this uh, statement here. It's one of the reasons why I actually went long on the European Euro stocks before as well. Bear with me. Italy PM Conte, German Chancellor Merkel impressed by Italy package of structural reforms. No division between Liga and Five Star and budget. We want to ensure growth for our country. So. That comment certainly is helping risk sentiment at present in terms of Europe. Okay, so 10-minute chart, German DAX certainly trying to uh, push back towards the highs. Bear in mind you've got resistance at 11,800, so we'll take that into consideration. Okay, and the political uncertainty in Germany obviously remains as well, so that certainly is another bearish factor. In terms of the French CAC now, let's look at this. Again, uh, thrust higher off that previous resistance equal support, but again, it's limited. Uh, so watch out for a potential reversal there. Again, certainly under pressure. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, we are pushing high on the back of that weaker sterling. So it's all about that weaker sterling news, attempting to test that key resistance around the 7080 zone. Okay, if you break above that, then it does trigger the IHS formation. So it triggers the inverted head and shoulders and looking at thrust up to 7180 then on the FTSE. So just bear that in mind as well in terms of uh, trading each UK 100. Next chart we have here is the Euro stocks. Okay, so Euro stocks again certainly being helped by a story with regards to Merkel in Italy. Okay, apparently Merkel being happy with these structural reforms and that certainly will help their cause. Okay, and may well help alleviate risk sentiment as well. So uh, again, risk concerns that we have with regards to China, US as well. So those two certainly are weighing on, on the index. So technically at the moment we're in no man's land. Uh, Really, we're oscillating between support here at below at 3180, and there's no real support really other than this here, which is around the 3210 zone. So, any sell off, obviously, you are looking at 3210, any rally, you are looking at 3280 and potentially above as well if the market continues to short squeeze. So, certainly take that into consideration too. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European indices. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers, and be sure to download the latest app. Goodbye now.